Audio Movers just introduced something called Omnibus, and you don't need it. If you have an analog patch bay like this one, or if you like using Soundflower to root audio internally, then you don't need this. Hey, I'm Steve, and I'm a multi-platinum producer engineer, and if you're a creative engineer, producer, artist, I've got nothing but respect for you for putting yourself out there. I know if you're watching this, you're not creating, so let's have a look at this thing, and you can decide if it's right for you. Okay, so this is Omnibus. Let's just go through it quick. So what you need to do for starters, or at least this is how I'm using it at this point, and you know, you can use this to go from application to application. So on the system settings, there's Omnibus A and B, there's two different sets. I've put my system settings out to Omnibus A. So for example, if I pull up a browser, are gonna come out these. So this could be your DAW, it could be your browser, anything that you set to the output of Omnibus A. If you set it to Omnibus B, you're gonna be in this zone. So what I've done is I've brought up Logic and I've brought up uh, just a YouTube video of mine. So I'm gonna start this playing. And what we're listening to here on the screen capture software is the built-in output. So I've start this up. You don't hear anything. At least you shouldn't. So you see it's coming into Omnibus here. And if I, everything with, a, with an audio input that's available on the computer is now shows up here. So these are your destination channels. This is where it's from. And this is where you're going to. So for example, I pop these in latency and that is when the signal goes in how long it takes to go into the computer and come back out so i can take that like a out of there so what where this is really cool is if you want to record something so let's go into logic here i've got logic up and i've got something on input so in logic and this is an older version but it still looks mostly the same so i go into audio and i've set the audio input device to omnibus a and the built-in output to what you're hearing in the headphones and the screen capture built in. So if I close that, you'll see I'm already in listening mode. Channel one and two, which is what this is set up for here. If I pop these in, recording, it's not super important what that is. If you uncheck it, you get 16, 24 is better. Software monitoring is good, no output, you see it's still recording. So that's recording what's happening on the browser. I can stop that. Stuff. let's file that under we'll deal with that later when you first start a session you get this so easy easy to record so you can use this for so many things now I don't want to tell you to do anything you shouldn't do but say you needed a reference track for something you're mixing I know that there's other ways of doing it but nothing to me is as elegant as this setup at the beginning of this I said you don't need it and you don't you, you know you can patch things if you have a patch bay, you can screen capture them. You can download stuff in weird ways. You can use Soundflower. But if you have this on your computer, it's digital. You're gonna get a perfect reproduction. It works really easily. It installs in two seconds and there you go. It's just easy to use. Let me know what you think. Would this be useful to you? If you have to record from an application to an application, I can't think of an easier way to do it. Let me know.